the fuck? What is up guys and welcome to the first ever Japanese horror indie game on the channel and today we are playing the caregiver so with only today remaining until tomorrow we can finally play Resident Evil Village I thought we would start it off with some horror and get us in that whole vibe so this game is relatively short I'm doing a one-off episode I hope you guys do enjoy the series as we play as a caregiver to an 80 something year old man and the house is haunted and there's all kinds of shit going on and it looks absolutely terrifying and I hate horror games and I'm doing this for you guys so I hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> and if you do don't forget to drop it a like and without further ado let's get right into it and take care of Sir Suichi. <coughs> Tomita Sachi, 26. All right, so you can see, I kind of, uh, I need to actually hit the mouse sensitivity. I'm gonna bring it to about one. Game volume is good. Apply that right there. Apply it back. So I did kind of start this up just to uh, kind of familiar, familiarize myself with the uh, controls. And let's begin. Naomi's sleeping again. She's always like this recently. I guess being new really gets to you. Don't worry, Naomi. I was like that too when I started. So it's keyboard and mouse. I never really do that. So that's why I wanted to kind of just get myself a little familiarized um, with what I need to do. So the only thing I found, kind of show you that it's a very interesting game. It's a neat little, I'm just still obviously a little fresh with the controls, but as we play, we'll, we'll get it going. So I do see a bag here. All right. So I need that bag for my objective. Dot, dot, dot. It's time. I better hurry. Okay, so there wasn't really anything really here. This is just kind of where we work. There's a chick here you can kind of talk to. I had never clicked it, but heading out? Yes, but to Suichi's. Oh, I just got a call from his daughter to come over. Said it was some sort of emergency. All right, it's already late. Just get everything you need now and go home after you get the job done. I'll let the boss know. Thanks, Risako. Oh. And wake Naomi up before you leave. She's sleeping in the break room again. Again? She is a hard worker. Oh, and did you know? Know what? I found this while I was running a little background check of her. I heard she was thrown away and left in a tunnel in the middle of the forest when she was born. She was eventually found, though, by a couple of urban explorers. The police couldn't find who the child was or where she came from. That's crazy. Yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. Luckily, she was very soon adopted by a welcoming family. I can see that. Look where she is now. A kind-hearted individual taking her job seriously every day. Yeah, and she's a really nice girl. But she seems off sometimes. Is it just me? Off? Yeah. She's kind of emotionless sometimes. Remember, like, even when a patient passed away, she... Hmm. Let's not talk bad behind someone's back, Risako. I'm sorry, didn't mean to. So Risako is the secretary. Now, um, the thing is, like, with Japanese, like, they're they're big on, like, their careers. Careers is, like, huge, right? Like, in North America, most people are just lost. Um, but anyway, this dark already. So, let's get to the man's house. So, we're going to see so so Soichi. I hope, I hope I'm not killing the guy's uh, name here. Achievement unlocked to Toki Nursing Home. Okay. So I already know where to go because I was just practicing running down these streets and I kind of just stumbled upon where we need to go. So we're going to go, as you can see in the name, the caregiver. We're going to be taking care of an older man. So he needs help. And things are not going to be as they seem. Just going to head on up where we need to go. So we're kind of going up here. So the game is relatively short, probably mentioned that in the intro, uh, I am recording before my intro, so I like to just get in, uh, but I'm good, I'm ready, 
to be nervous. And yeah, I got a fan going, I got water. Good, so this is where we need to be. So I don't necessarily know... Actually, let's... Can we make it a little brighter? The brightness is... Minus... 70. Let's, let's bring it up here. I just feel like I'm having a little trouble seeing. Head bob off. I hate head bob. Okay. I think we're okay. That, that's, that's a little bit better. I can actually see where the hell I'm running. Dark is okay, but too dark doesn't make sense. So anyway, here we go, guys. I've never gone th like this. I just tested out running, so. Hello? Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Maybe they're busy. I'm gonna go in, okay? Alright, so I did read one little tip, and that is you want to close doors behind you because they close on their own, and that freaks the shit out of you, so. Treatment unlocked. We're in the house. Here we go. What is the smell? Folded cloth? It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what's going on here? I see a ladder going up. I'm scared. Not gonna lie. Mysterious card. Okay, I guess that's a collectible. Uh, haven't even been closing doors. Are you trying to give yourself a heart attack, or...? I didn't do that. See the door just shut? Okay, but it's not making noise. Maybe that's been patched ever since. Whoa. It's like a little bit of use to its controls. So I think they actually fixed that. Okay, that's a good thing. Don't really see... Much to do, though. Oh. Seems like there was something here. Whoa. The fuck? We were just here. Ah, sweetie son. Don't scare me like that. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, I think he's he's pissing himself. What happened to your family members? Are they all out? Hey, are you okay? Suichi-san? Oh, shit. Even after years of doing this job, I still can't get used to something like this. <laughs> I need something to wipe it off. So we did pick up the cloth. Oh. Okay, Suichi-san? Suichi-san? Oh, he is... One fugly dude. Um... It doesn't seem like we have an... Option to... Pick him up. Okay, so we got the washroom. Let's try to make mental note of this shit. And then we have, like, the bathroom. It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. Oh, I see it. Maybe we gotta go outside? What was that? It's, I think they fixed that, though, so maybe we don't have to really worry about it anymore. So... What is the point of this game? Like, 
Jesus! Suichi, don't scare me like that. But he was already there, no? I guess that's just something that... Jeez, I just freaking... I got goosebumps, man. Japanese horror is no joke. Uh, that is freaky. We got a shed here. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Uh, okay. It's kind of hard to see. We need like a flashlight or something. Oh, I have no idea where I'm, I'm just going to fall. Where's this? It's like a back room or something. Okay, let's try getting back inside maybe. Mailbox. Oh, nothing there. Let's let's leave it and see if we hear anything. Yeah, this leads to this hall area, right? What the hell is that? I'm gonna I'm gonna close this up. Yo, no way. He's gone. It won't open, there's a plank stuck. I just feel like there should be a flashlight. No? Like, it seems so dark, unless I'm supposed to brighten up the game. Whatever, let's get to the next area and see what's up. Clearly, uh, the old man is gone. So creepy. Where'd he go, though? Attic door. I keep waiting for, like, something to pop out. Whatever, that, that area opened up. Oh, shit. Here we go. That was our inventory. We have nothing in our inventory. God, it's so dark in here. What is that? What is that? Oh, I think it was dust. <laughs> Get rid of trash. Okay. Why? What does that do? What the hell are we supposed to do next? I heard that. I literally feel like an idiot. Okay, so we're in the three rooms here, guys. And look at this. It's so dark. It's a stairwell. Yo, that smell again. It's getting stronger. Oh, no. Yo, there's... Oh, no. Here we go. What is, what is this? Mysterious card again. Number four. I didn't even realize there was numbers. So we're in the hallway portion of the upstairs. Okay. I'm almost afraid. Like, I'd rather just use the hall. That makes sense. Okay, here we go. Man, I, I was scouring. I, I got so mad I even turned off the game. I was like, nope. Not doing it, and then there's no autosave feature. I had to literally run here again, and what's happening right now? What the fuck? What the fuck is this, Grudge? There's somebody behind us, too.
the next day kuramoto naomi 22 so hold on we're gonna be playing we're playing as somebody else are we playing as the girl that was sleeping see stuff in this room here my backpack info about suichi H3, uh, 83. So we actually get to learn a little bit about him now. Gender, male, weight, 56 kilograms, height, 170 centimeters, low blood sugar, feed flan on two meals a day, relaxes when bathing, should bathe every day, strong dislikes for getting out of the house. Ask, ask for reasons, very forgetful as of late, watch your symptoms of dementia. Comment, occasional discomfort, signs of frustration and pain, prescribe opiates if necessary. So... We're feeding him two times a day, and we and he relaxes when he's bathing. It's little little mental notes, okay? Let's talk maybe to her again. Hey Naomi, what's wrong, senpai? There's a grandpa I want you to take care of. Hmm, who could that be? It's Suichi. Sachi-san can't be in charge of him anymore, so you can go in her stead. Sure thing, but what happened to Sachi-san? Oh, don't worry. It's probably about a relationship. She does this time to time. I'm correct, right? This is the girl that we just were playing as, I think. She isn't getting any younger, you know, including myself, that is. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Anyhow, Suichi san needs you. Um, do you think I'll be fine? I've never been to a patient's house by myself. Well, we're short on people. I know it's hard, but we have to do our best and go with what we have. I left his information on your desk. All right, I'll do my best. Yeah, so we saw the info, <clears throat> which was a quink quinky dink. So as you can see, I brightened it up um, just to what it was previously. So you could clearly see that the, the roads look much more illuminated out here. I'm uh, shitting my pants. Things are only going to get worse. I would like to keep this game as... What the fuck is that? You have a good soul. Hmm? You really do. I can feel it from years of being a monk. Well, I haven't done much in life yet. It does not matter. I see that you follow the way. Visit our temple sometime. With the level of conscience you have, you should feel at home. Okay, I'll think about it. Please do. He was not there the last time. Unless it was so dark, I just walked right by him. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm terrified right now. I'm petrified is the word. I've never played something so seriously horrific. I don't know if there's jump scares in this game, but there's just a constant feeling of uneasiness. That I know, and I, oh my god, I got goosebumps. So. It's not nighttime anymore. That's that's what I'm thinking. See, the sun is starting to come out. It's early morning. What is that? The ladder. There's the mark in that closet. Maybe I can find a way to take it down. I hear a kettle? There was nobody in there, though. Suichi-san. Anyone home? Looks like it's open. Oh, and the nightmare continues. Oh, we got a kettle. What's this? Seems like a key won't fit from the rust. So there's different things. Oh, that's that's an annoying sound. We're gonna stop boiling, stop the water. Oh boy. Like I said, so let's just read it again. I couldn't even hear. Seems like a key won't fit from the rust. Okay, so we, we know the layout of the land. It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. There's green on the window now. Things are different. Ooh. A flashlight. Right? There was something here. Clearly a ladder. It uh, doesn't take some genius shit here. Yeah, because that's where I want to go. Okay, well, we know the layout of the land now. Whoa! Hello, Suichi-san. How are you? I'm Naomi. Sachi's been very busy lately. 
You guys hear that? I'll be taking care of you from now on. The fuck? What's that sound? Turn it off. Jesus. So loud I couldn't freaking couldn't even think. I was literally trying to figure out the buttons. I'm new to this. What's happening right now? <laughs> okay. He's got something. Is that a paperclip? Fuck, I don't want to go back up there, man. Where's my... Yes, I want I want it on at all times, please. Yo, the music is just getting worse. Is is Grandpa still here? Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Okay. The bird died on this side, and he brought us a paperclip. What is a paperclip going to do for us? Hmm. Very well, gotta continue going, I guess. I, I really, I, I can hear the doors more now, so I think I want to close them up. No, it didn't make a sound. I guess they did fix that, that's awesome. This thing. Oh, hold on a sec. Yeah. I picked the lock. What does it give us? Give me the shed key. Ah, so things are starting to lead. Okay, so that's why it was so dark. I couldn't see what the hell to do. Still got to figure out how to climb that ladder or get that ladder so we can go up to the attic because I'm so excited for that. What's this? Dot, dot, dot. I can't. I can see the plank is blocking the bathroom. I need to find something that can bulge it down and it's too high for me, so I need something to step on it as well okay stop yes always flash that we can actually see outside now that's that's good that's great okay what do we got here shed key maybe there's a key somewhere uh yes please sorry it's gonna i'm gonna have to look at my keyboard i'm not used to this there's a this can see a well in the dark. A hoe. What do, what do we want? What do we want a hoe for? You think I can grab the ladder with the hoe? Is it possible? What the hell was that sound? I'm I'm so scared to look, man. It worked. You guys are totally going to see me looking at my keyboard constantly. So the ladder makes us heavy. We can't, uh... I haven't even gone upstairs yet. That's the best part. Um... We gotta go to the attic? Fuck. It's terrible, guys. Terrible. Oh, give me my flashlight. No, there's Okay, this is the door. Fuck. Oh my god, I thought that was legs. It's a stool for the window. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flashlight again, please. That's it? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get us the fuck out of here, please. Yes, so please. I was like, where are we? What now? What? Okay, the stool can help us with the window. Maybe that's the next step. Still haven't gone upstairs again. That second floor. God, please don't anything jump on me in the bushes. I'm really scared. I'm just going to keep running. I'm good. I'm good. We got the van. We can actually see the van now. Anything? Who oh, can interact with the van? Okay. Uh, okay, pull up the thingy, my jigger. I can see that a plank is blocking the bathroom. I need something to bulge it out. Can we use the hoe? Again? Nice. That's pretty much it. It's just a puzzle, and you're trying to find the next step and leading to it and shitting your pants at every turn. Because you know things are going to get bad. So we can go in the washroom now. I don't know if that's going to be a good... Who the hell was that? No, this is not right, man. It was a bad idea playing this, I think. I don't want to be in here. Where'd he go? He came like in the direction, this direction. Is this place haunted or? Anyway, let's just go to the bathroom for a second. See. Wow, that is some clean water, eh? What was the point of that? So now we have nothing except the flashlight. So is he not in that room anymore? What was that? No? He came this way though. So is he... He's gone. Clearly, we saw him. Where Where did he go? What the fuck? Why is he out there now? We were just there. Okay, let's... Unfortunately, go talk to him. This is bad idea. What? Is he like steaming or something? Suichi? Let's get you inside. Yeah, yeah, let's uh... Let's get you inside. The oh, fuck? What's that? Can't just leave right now. Delivery package? I want- I want to leave though. Okay, what, what do I do with the package though? Place package? Okay. I need maybe... Something to cut it open? Like a knife? There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing in our inventory. Let's... Let's keep the flashlight out. Okay, so... He's, he's taking a bath. Take him to bed. Let's do it. What the fuck is that sound? What 
the fuck? Why did my screen just go black? Hold on a sec. What the hell just happened? Hey Risako, what's up? About Suichi, there's something wrong about his family. None of his family members were home. I feel very uneasy about it. I was wondering if Sachi-san knows anything. Hmm. Want to take a look at her work diary? Yes, that would help. Oh, and she's taking a sick leave again. Maybe you can visit her. See if she's doing okay. Yo, what the hell? We... Okay, we, we still have the flashlight. That's a... A great thing. Oh my god. The good thing is... And it's it's driving me to play it is it's not where where's her work diary? It's not a, a long game. I think that's what's making me feel safe. Still standing there, okay. Oh I didn't see anything about a work diary. Can I just get the hell out of here? The sooner that we complete this, the better. <laughs> Another office here. Okay. I'm not ready yet. So tell me. Mysterious card. Oh, number one. Day one. Here we go. Just a normal day at Suichi's. But there's one thing that bothers me. The house kind of smells. Where is it coming from? I should try getting rid of the stench tomorrow. What happened at Suichi? Something went wrong at Sachi's. Oh no, but from what I heard, she lives nearby. Hold on, how do I... Oh, here we go. I didn't know Suichi suffers dementia. He doesn't talk much. If not, um, this is odd. He was fine yesterday. Maybe his symptoms are starting to show now. I pray I'll be okay. His family members were supposed to be at home today. They called us last minute and they can't make it. It's just Suichi's home today. I really wish they'd let us know sooner. Nothing seems to work. That still reeks of something rotten. When I arrived today, Suichi wasn't at home. Turns out he was lying on the ground outside. What's going on? I also hear scratching on the walls and banging on the ceilings. I tried checking where the sounds were coming from. Nothing's there. Ah, the smell again. I just can't put a finger on where the smell is coming from. Everything about the house is driving me insane. The room in the second floor. What was that? Grandma? Why are you here? What are you doing? Can be real, right? I feel cold. Maybe I'm just sick. Shouldn't go to work tomorrow. She, of course, didn't end up uh, going there. Lives nearby. So, I guess we're going to try to figure out where she lives. And now, from what I remember, Sachi lives nearby. She should be living in the tallest apartment building in this area. I just saw it for a split second. There it was. I want to say that's the way. So I guess we're going to go check up on her. Got uh, no problem with that. Anywhere. Anywhere but uh, that house that we have to go back to. So I think she lives just right over here. Looks like the tall is so dark I can't see jack shit. Because it's night again. But we do have a flashlight. And that helps us. Hey, what's up, man? I won't let you pass. Mm, do I know you? No. So does that mean I can pass? No. You have the same uniform as the girl who lives here. That means I can't let you pass. Why? I don't even live here. It doesn't matter. You have to win in a game of rock, paper, scissors, then I'll let you pass. Huh? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Rock, paper, scissors are your... Shut up and listen. Or I won't let you pass. Alright, fine. Uh, okay, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper. Scissors. Ha. Ah, too easy. Well, let you pass then. Okay. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So if he does scissors, let's do rock. Paper. Really, bro? Okay, I'm gonna randomly just do rock again. Paper. What's this guy's problem? So he just keeps beating us. He did paper after. So what if I do scissors? Ah, I lost. You're pretty strong. Yeah, uh, however, you really thought 
I let you pass just a game of rock, paper, scissors. Think again, loser. But you said all I all I need is one thing. I know you have a lot of have them. I know you do. Have what? Bring me the drug. Drug? Stop playing dumb. I've been getting it from your friend. She's acting weird lately and won't give me a damn thing and runs off like a psychopath. You say that. Bring me the drug and I'll let you pass. What? Let me pass, bro. Bro, where am I going to find you a drug, man? I got to get to work. Hold on a sec. Is it possible that it is back at work? She's like stealing drugs, maybe? Maybe something behind the building first? Let's check behind the building. I love like the VHS style graphics, I'm not gonna lie. Can we climb? No, we can't climb this. Okay, well, I'm thinking maybe we go back to work. We'll go back to work, see if there's anything there that we can steal. And we'll go from there, I'm, I'm guessing. How far was work? I don't even remember. Maybe here? Yeah. Alright, the keyboard and mouse is a little tricky, but... Getting the hang of it. So where am I gonna find these drugs? Guy wants morphine. Lucky guess actually worked out. Love it. All right, let's give this guy his drugs back and <sighs> proceed to complete that and see what's up with the. Obviously, you know, Sachi's not good. Sachi, right? I think it was her name. Got him. So nervous that I can't even remember her damn name. All right. Well, we're Naomi now, so. Naomi now is what matters, so. Alright, here you go, crackhead. Move out of my way. Ah, yes. This. This. Ah. Get out of the way. Enter the apartment. Here we go. I don't need to go there right now. Card number four. I don't really know why I'm collecting them, but why not? They look pretty cool. We found her home. It's tricky, but it's not too hard to figure out like where you're going next, right? So we're inside the apartment. Okay. Box of tea, kettle, um, okay, uh, box of tea, mug, stove, hello, little confuzzled, so, first of all, flash, okay, before we even get there, maybe we can make her some tea, it'll make her feel better. Sachi-san, are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. I just feel cold. You want me to get you some tea? Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so we actually went ahead and did that already. We can't run in here. So what I want to do is... I still can't do it. Okay, so we're going to pour the water first, obviously. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the tea or the mug. What? Oh, we already have it. Okay. See, we're holding the mug and it's magically not spilling. Here, take some tea. Tell me all your issues because I'm about to experience them also. Are you alright now? So cold. Don't worry, I think I just caught a cold. 
Hey, Sachi-san, I came here to ask you something. I read your work notes, and what happened at Suichi's? And what happened to his family? Why? Why? Why what? Why? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, it's because I'm in charge of taking care of him right now. Get out. Get out. I don't want to get involved anymore. All right, well, uh, that was very helpful of you. Thank you. We came all the way here pretty much to give her some tea so she could be like, hey, buddy, take a hike. The hike will take. No, 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 oh my God. Are you kidding me right now? This chick just committed suicide. Holy sh- I got goosebumps, man. Like, I don't know what it is about this game. This game doesn't really have... Like, pop-ups, but... It's intense. It's really, really intense. So I guess, obviously, we didn't go to work after that day. Uh, do we gotta get our shit? I hear rain outside. Let's see. Where is everyone? I have to get to Sweet Cheese. What is this feeling? I feel like I should hurry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wonder if we're making good time. Uh, I heard the game could be around two hours. I have no idea. Like, are we getting... Uh, so these guys that made this game, they're called Chil Chil Chilia Games, if I'm correct. And uh, I, I'm really, honestly, really enjoying it. And I've heard there's other ones, like uh, there's one called Hakuno Convenience Store. And these, these games are like five bucks. Uh, if you guys really like this, uh, drop a like on the video, you know, and uh, maybe leave in the comments if that's something you like to see. If you guys really like these Japanese horror games, uh, my heart is still in my chest. So maybe we can we can do it. You know what I mean? So just, again, let me know, guys. Um, certain games I play for myself, but I'm starting to starting to do games for you guys, too. So, uh, here we go. We're fucking close as shit and regretting every minute of it. Oh, look at the moon. The moon's red. Oh, boy, here we go. It's just going to keep getting worse, isn't it? First of all, why did the rain just get much louder? And now it's much quieter again. Okay, God, I am... Open package. Take what's inside. So now we can open the package. Car jack crank. So, the van. Pretty much. I'm I'm not even gonna I don't even want to be here anymore. So scared right now. How do I jack this bad boy up? Hold on a sec, do I gotta actually bring it into the inventory? That's on the other side, isn't it? What the fuck? How do I jack this bad boy up? Jack crank. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, what we gotta do, I would say, is find the jack, right? Maybe. That's a muffler. 
so we don't have the we obviously don't have the uh the jack yet hmm we have the crank but not the jack if i'm wrong we'll come back outside it's so loud right now that i can't hear shit because obviously these games you want to keep it loud so he's not sleeping anymore is he in the closet no why would he be in the closet come on sabers But what? I still see something highlighted there, but... First order of business, probably find the old man. Actually, is he in this one? We didn't fully explore upstairs. We, we haven't gone back up there. Eh. What the fuck? Rip the mattress. What's in the mattress? Blood? The van key. We don't have to go... Whoa, 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 get that shit. Now, I thought that was the wheelchair. And it was just a couple of rats. So, I don't know why the van key was covered in blood. But, that probably means something bad's about to happen in the van. So, god, I keep forgetting how to even... Uh, okay. Open the van. Let's... Nope, I definitely need that. Car jack. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where do we jack this bad boy up? Or is it even for this? What if the car jack is not even for this at all? Why would we need a car jack though? Stop crouching, let's go. The door? It's so loud, I can't even... But there was... Yeah, it was the door and then the the car. Still highlighted, which is a little odd. We're gonna have to go upstairs. Like, keep trying to avoid it. I hear movement upstairs. That's where everything went to hell. What? Take a peek. Are you kidding me right now? These slide doors are stuck. Maybe I can use something to force it open. Got it. We're already on that. These slide doors are stuck. Maybe I can use something. What? Confused. Hold on. Does that mean now I gotta... Oh, okay. 
Uh, we got the crank. We got the... Use the car jack, yes. A little bit of uh, false registry. It's so dark in there. I hear like breathing. Give me the jump scare. I'm ready. I'm ready. Probably put my controller. Crowbar. Bloody note. Good fortune comes beneath the floor. Beneath the floor. What in the flying fox sticks does that even mean? Wait, that was just a note. Okay. Good fortune comes beneath the floor. Now, which floor are you talking about? All right, we're getting the fuck out of here. We are getting out of here. I have to look here again. Okay. We got here. Pry it open, yes. I thought maybe it was going to be where the, uh, he was in that room originally, but I guess not. Go down. Oh my god. What? What just happened to this game? Like, why, 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 why are we in a cave? Yo, I didn't sign up for this shit, man. I see light that way. I didn't sign up for this shit, man. There's other pathways. Oh no, it's just dead end. Yo, what is going on right now? Honest to God truth? I can't even tell what the fuck that is. It's like smoking. Some dark magic shit. Time of the deeds have been engraved to the elderly clocks. The mother got stabbed while preparing dinner and the clock struck 3.30. The girl was strangled when she was coming back from school and the clock struck 8.10. The boy got pushed down the stairs and the clock struck 5.40. The father pushed down from the window and the clock struck 11.50. The gods will aid when the timepieces align. Three thirty, eight ten, five forty, and eleven fifty. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write these down. Give me a moment.
Okay. Suichi. That's Suichi? We came from this way. I also heard voices this way. So, what do we gotta do? We gotta find clocks in the game and align the times, I guess? There's a clock here. Old clock. Um, okay, let's do 3.30 for this one. Screwing that up. 3.30 for this one. Okay. That's one clock. Do we have any clocks... here? We do not. What was the next one? I'm gonna have to pull it up. Give me a moment. So I did three. Th I'm just gonna go in order. I hope that there isn't like an exact uh, way of doing it. So eight. Okay, eight ten. Okay, that one there. So that's two clocks. Do we have to go back to the main house, maybe? We gotta try to save them, like, we can't, uh... Can't let them do this- AH! The fuck? Who the fuck are you? What the fuck is going on here? Holy shit! Oh god! What the hell is going on right now? This bitch came out of nowhere. Look at her. She just keeps chasing us. What if I close the door behind her? Ah! The fuck? Oh my god. It's grandma. It's fucking grandma. I am shitting my fucking pants. I need a I need a clock. There's a clock right here. You you fucking old bitch. Uh 540. 540 is the time. Well, that's stupid. Stop it. Like, I'm, I'm literally gonna die. Uh, we need one more clock. 11.50. So I just learned that the clocks do have exact time. So this old raggedy ass bitch, I don't think we'll come here. It's got a ring. The clocks have to ring. I literally checked for a guide. I'm so scared right now. See, it's correct. Shit. Right, so if it doesn't ring, it's incorrect. So two of them, there's another one up here. Here we're here. So what did I give you? 810. Let's try... 330? Wow, I scared like- I don't think I've ever scared like that. In a game. 1150, okay. 
So we got 11.50. So we need 3.30 and 8 to 10. So I don't even know... I don't even know where the, th the fourth clock is. You stupid fucking scunt. Like she runs like a raggedy ass, bitch ass. Let's try 3.30. Let's just keep going here. I hear, I hear. Stop it. Stop it. Nope, that's not the right time. It was the other one, 8.10. I see you, Grandma. I see you. I want to heal up before I take more damage getting the time ready. Let's go, 810, baby, 810. Like, that's, that's freaking rude, man. So what, what was the last time? Shit. Three something, right? 330? Is it in the kitchen? It is, it is. Let's go. Oh. Wow, I... <laughs> you guys caught me at my weakest, that's for sure. So we got... The chest is now opened up. Now, is she still chasing us like a dumb bitch? Get, get this phone out of here, fuck's sakes. Wow. That was like some of the most serious jump scares I've ever had. Because I just didn't expect it. Religious dagger. So we gotta get back down. And probably have to fight grandma. I hate chase games so bad. Oh. Alright, we're in the cave. I'm gonna keep this flashlight on until... Until we deal with her. Okay. Here we go. Bring Suichi down, yes? This seems very complicated, like, okay, I, I played it the once. Like I'm playing right now, and thank you, young one. The curse didn't allow me to speak. I'm sorry I couldn't figure things out sooner. No, you did more than what I dreamed for. You gave me a chance. Now listen, the raven is after me. It is using my wife to complete itself. Your wife? I thought she passed away. The raven can interact with the dead. He has coerced her soul back to this world. Oh my god. The condition for his summoning is for the dead to perform the ritual on the person she loved the most. Now, you must save my wife's spirit, but how? Her bone box is in the altar. It should be sealed tight with a red string. Get it out of the house and the demon will back away. Okay, use this. It should cut through anything. You have a good soul, I trust in you. Yeah, yeah. So scissors will cut through anything. Okay. The red string exactly I'm I'm a little confuzzled. Maybe I'll just go back. Uh, uh, 
Sweetie, I just wanted to be with you. I'm sorry. Okay. That's not freaky at all. We can cut anything. I'm not really sure what that means. I'm just thinking maybe... What was that sound? God damn it. It was upstairs. Her room, right? Maybe that's where we gotta go. Yeah, the red string. It'll cut anything. There's a bone box. Fuck. Okay, we gotta get the bone box out of the house, was what he had said. What the? It's not gonna be that easy, is it? Vortex. Seems like a it's like a maze. Oh shit, man. I'm just gonna keep running and clicking and opening fucking shit. Is there like a right path? supposed to know where to go. Next day. It's like a checkpoint? Confused. Yeah, it's a checkpoint. Okay. So let's go, baby. Do it again. There was it doesn't seem like there's a right or wrong way. Like I'm just running and then things got dark and I couldn't see shit. Here we go again. Oh my god. I literally just ran right by him. I'm just going right, left, right, left. Oh my god. I think it's, it's literally getting darker. for talking right now it's a maze it's there is only one clear path got it but does that mean that we're outside so i think the spirit was trying to hold us inside of the house and we made it outside okay so like it it used Suichi to it was so pretty much the victim of this whole thing was I, I ran as fast as I can just when I ran out of breath I saw a small worn out building it is an old temple just looking at it made me feel its history I looked back the Karasu Tengu was gone did I lose him I decided to enter the temple I saw a monk chanting I was hesitant to disturb him, but he must have felt my presence. 
He slowly turned to me and stared at the bone box as he walked. The monk spoke before letting me speak. Here, give it to me. I handed the box without a second thought. My hands were still trembling from the adrenaline. If you were a little late, the poor woman's spirit would have suffered a great deal. I was relieved. Suichu was right. It seems that his wife, Harari, was unharmed because I took the bone box out of the house. The monk then told me to bury it in a grave before it attracts anything else. He helped me do so, and he even offered a prayer of protection for me and the couple. I also prayed. Prayed that Hiori is safely released, and Suichi is to be as far away from the foul spirits as possible. I'm happy that Hiori finally has a chance to watch over Suichi in the other world. But where did the Karasu Tengu go? Is he gone for good? Either way, I have to make sure that Suichi does not go back there again. A few days passed, and I decided to still care for Suichi. Really? You crazy. It's a nice, sunny day. We're going to visit Hiori's grave today. But she finally got to rest. That was wow. Now that we've had our moment of peace, I can finally greet her. Yeah, now give me a freaking heart attack. That was crazy. A short thrill ride, definitely. I did not expect that, like, you had nothing attacking you the entire game, and then all of a sudden, this chick just pops up out of the corner. Like, God, that hurt. But let's see if this is the end here. Yeah, it's the end, definitely. Wow. So Spear used the wife to get to Suichi. What a shame. He was already gone the moment you stepped into the house. What a shame. Hold on a sec. Wow. Chilla's art support appearances. Does that mean that that was like the spirit all along just pretending? So he ends up getting her as well. Wow. You know what, guys? I'm down. I'm down for games like this. If you guys like this Japanese horror style, I I'm okay with bringing like, uh, like I said, Hanako, Convenience Store. Those are pretty neat games one day to the channel. Uh, so yeah, of course, if you guys do uh, did enjoy this short but sweet uh, micro indie indie series, then uh, don't forget to drop the video a like. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, that the grandmother part was like so unexpected. Because like I was trying to say, and then I was reading the ending there, but it's like the entire segment, you're kind of running around and you got like little freaky sounds in the back room and in the back. And it's like, I can handle it. And then all of a sudden, here comes this woman, right? Uh, but anyway, so I did get a, a little bit of a help there with the clock. I was a little confused, so uh, I just figured I would see if the rooms had meaning. And there was. I didn't look at what the rooms were. That's why we tried playing with it. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this, and, and tomorrow's a big one. We start off with Resident Evil Village on the channel. So thank you guys so, so much, and I'll catch you on that. So thanks. Peace out.